Some regional markets reopening after a long weekend. Investors will return from the holidays to some key earnings and telling events. On Wednesday, they'll be poring over a private survey of China factory activity, especially after the latest GDP data showed growth in Asia's largest economy slowing to an 18-month low. The survey will provide an early temperature check on the country's vast and vital manufacturing sector. Also on Wednesday, Thailand's central bank is scheduled to hold a policy meeting. It cut rates in March for the second time in just a few months to try and perk up the economy after a sustained bout of political turmoil. But investors and consumers are still fretting over when a new government will be formed amid already weak growth. Towards the end of the week, earnings from some well-known Japanese automakers will show how successful Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's yen-slaying policies have been with exporters. Mitsubishi releases fiscal full-year numbers on Thursday. In December, the Japanese carmaker lifted its operating profit forecast for this financial year by 20 percent, thanks to the weak yen and cost cuts. On Friday, Honda will step up to the plate. Japan's third largest car maker remains optimistic about its prospects and aims to sell a record 4.5 million vehicles this year. Analysts are upbeat too. 18 of the 20 polled by Reuters give the stock a green light. But there are a few possible speed bumps. The automaker has warned it sees demand cooling in the once dynamic Southeast Asian market.